Hey guys, welcome to Pretendo 64. Um, this is a Mother's Day special. Today we're going to be counting down the top five most memorable mothers in video games. This is just our list, our opinion. Mm -hmm. um, if if you guys have any others, go ahead and tell us down below in the description. Uh, we're, they're not going to be in any order. They're just a uh, random assortment. Uh, we're going to start off with um, Cooking Mama, I think. Uh, I've played a couple of these games. They're pretty fun. They're 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 very emotion oriented orientated. Uh, there's a couple on the DS too, I think. Um, <clears throat> so the premise is uh, that you have to make different dishes, and there's certain movements and things that you have to do in order to make uh, the movements. And the whole time you have the cooking mama sitting there helping you. And I'm not sure if you're her kids or her students or how the the dynamic is, but how can you have a Mother's Day countdown without cooking mama, right? Um, next on the list is... Uh, it's Rosalina. Rosalina, yeah. Um, Rosalina, of course, Mario is probably the most popular game out, though. And especially in um, Super Mario Galaxy, you do see a lot of Rosalina. She's a mother to um, all the stars, I'm guessing. Yeah, the, the Lumia stars yes. and all those guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can play her in Mario World. And um, Mario World for the Wii U, I think it was. Yeah. Mario uh, 3D Land, my bad. Yeah, there's World. there's a few games you can play her. She's she's real popular in Smash Brothers. Uh, yep. She's also in the Mario Kart series. She's yeah. she's amazing. She's an amazing character. Of course, one of the most memorable, probably mothers out there, and you played her once in your life yeah I, I remember from the story she was very connected to the the little stars so mm -hmm. she's very caring for them next on the list um going up real rapidly uh we have um genova probably one of the more uh well-known mm -hmm. mothers <laughs> on this list uh genova was of course uh technically sephiroth's mom in Final Fantasy 7 um, she was an alien that came on a comet the Calamity Genova and <clears throat> most people who've ever played the games know that there's a very long and convoluted story but mm -hmm. Sephiroth uh, really viewed this this character as his mother and you fight her several times during the uh, uh, during the game and she also comes back into play when they have her head and they're very connected to her all the little uh, the characters in the Advent Children uh, movie uh, and that's how they become Sephiroth again is by combining with her genetic material um, pretty pretty well known um, some really cool scenes back when it first came out in 1997 you know the the cut scenes that Final Fantasy 7 had were just you know at that time we were like oh my god full motion video and it's full screen and it's cool obviously looking back mm -hmm. at them now they're not they're not the greatest but um moving on we have uh we have the mom well you can choose the mom in fallout yeah fallout 4 yeah fallout 4 pretty much doesn't matter if you choose a guy or a girl you gotta go through the same plans but if you pick the goal of course you're picking the mother and you says go on a whole wild adventure i'm trying to trying to find your kid again yeah, trying to find the Sean through. That's mm. the whole the whole game is trying to find uh, the the baby that was stolen. Uh, pretty dedicated mom. Everything that you have to go through in Fallout Four uh, is for this purpose. Everything, mm. the whole game. <laughs> yeah. So you can't get more dedicated uh, dedicated than that. <laughs> exactly, and that's why it's memorable. A fantastic game. Uh, I still haven't gone through and finished it because there's still so many side quests that come up. There's so many, so much of the DLC and everything that I've, you know, you just keep going back here, yeah. going back. They're not to mention every five minutes there's a new settlement that needs your attention, and I just haven't gotten around to exactly. finishing it all completely yet. Exactly. So if you want to do it a hundred percent, you need like a long ass time. Clean <laughs> <laughs> your calendar out. Uh, and at the top of our list. Um, are all of the moms from Pokemon. Every Pokemon mother. <laughs> to me, the, the whole concept, like, at the beginning of every single uh, Pokemon game, you're, you're met with, 
the professor, whether it's Professor Oak or Elm or whoever it is for that area, they tell you all about the Pokemon world. And then it's boom, you're in your house, you're in your room, you go downstairs and your mom's just like, hey, so I saw on TV that kids all leave home at some point, so I'll see you later. And you're what? You're like 10 years old? Exactly. And they're just like, bye, I'll see you. Go ahead. You go out into the world. Here's a, here's a, you know, a little snack. Go out into the world full of giant monsters and fire-breathing dragons and have a good life. I'll see you later. <laughs> it's a ridiculous concept to think about but that's literally every mom and then and then they have the audacity to be like oh i'll save money for you and they take your money and then they go spend it on like <laughs> books and weird things who knows what they're spending it on but they're definitely not saving it every time you talk to them they're like oh i spent some of your money cool thanks mom great great mom oh my god Every, every single one all the moms they're they're all they're all the same they they all mm. provide the same level of care for their children they're like yeah i'll see you later i don't know have fun catching monsters and things and being well, when, chased by weird criminals and stuff well when we were kids like we had no problem with that but now like looking back on those games they're 10 they're 10 years how are they gonna eat you don't care you just yeah. like, oh, go ahead, get out of here they're walking <laughs> through the woods you know ash is being attacked by giant bees with drills for hands but it's cool you know that's <sighs> they're not the best moms i guess <laughs> exactly. and the other thing is i haven't played all the games so i can't okay, say everything same here. but i've never seen like a father figure in any of them like there's no. there's never been a dad oh my dad over here. maybe i'm wrong you know maybe one of the newer ones or something like that but all the ones i remember there's never a dad present there's only um a grandfather and that's professor oak but he doesn't even know his own grandson's name <laughs> <laughs> well you know he's also you know the the professional pokemon except his pokedex is empty exactly. so i don't understand uh what his purpose is uh yeah so that's our list Happy Mother's Day. Remember to uh, send your love to your moms. And uh, take care, guys. Bye. Bye.